Whether you are aware of it or not, your mindset has a significant impact on many aspects of your professional life. This includes your overall productivity during the workday, your enjoyment of the workplace, and how you interact with those around you, such as your coworkers or supervisor. Welcome everyone. In today's video, we're going to tell you what mindsets exist and how do they influence the workplace. Understanding your mindset and how it affects your work performance allows you to make the necessary changes to improve it. In this video, we discuss the various mindsets and the importance of selecting the right mindset in the workplace. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. What mindsets exist in the workplace? When investigating what mindsets exist and how they can influence how you interact in the workplace, there are numerous factors to consider, including how people think and feel. It's likely that multiple mindsets coexist in a single workplace. Some of these mindsets complement one another, while others can be disharmonious and even cause conflict. The following are some of the main mindset types you might encounter in the workplace. The growth mindset priorities is growth over fixation. This means that a person with a growth mindset is committed to growing rather than remaining in their current situation. This development could occur in a variety of contexts, including personal and professional. Those with growth mindsets enjoy the knowledge that they are making progress and are constantly moving forward rather than remaining static in their current situation. Abundance. The abundance mindset prioritizes is abundance over scarcity. This means that someone with an abundance mindset focuses on the things in life that they have an abundance of rather than the things they don't have enough of. This, in turn, encourages a broader perspective on the current state of the workplace rather than a narrow, negative mindset. The abundance mindset is very similar to optimism. Productive. The productive mindset values productivity over defensiveness. This means that someone with a productive mindset responds to criticism by being productive about making a change rather than being defensive and arguing their case. Those with productive mindsets see constructive criticism as an opportunity to be proactive and address any weaknesses in their performance. Collectiveness. The collectiveness mindset values collectiveness over individuality. In this sense, an individual with the collectiveness mindset is more concerned with the overall well-being and goals of the team than with their own individual goals. Those with collective mindsets are often good team players and thrive in collaborative work environments. Interconnectedness. The interconnectedness mindset values interconnectedness over self-orientation. This means that someone with the interconnectedness mindset is more interested in connecting with others and progressing in that direction rather than finding their own way forward. Those with interconnectedness mindsets value networking and making new connections. Caring. The caring mindset prioritizes is caring for others over controlling them. This means that someone with a caring mindset demonstrates virtuous behavior toward others at work. Caring people don't want to dominate or control others instead. They want to help others become their best selves for the benefit of the team and the company as a whole. Reflection. The reflection mindset is one that values reflection over action. This means that someone with the reflection mindset chooses to meticulously repeat a theory, technique, or practice. This promotes continuity rather than a short-term outcome, often for the benefit of the company. Those with a reflective mindset are able to produce consistent results from repeated actions. What constitutes a work mindset? A mindset is a collection of beliefs that influence and shape how you perceive the world around you, Upbringing, education, religious beliefs, habits, and other experiences all have an impact on how your mindset develops. An individual or a group of people can have specific mindsets. For example, inside a company. A mindset in the workplace refers to the beliefs that you hold while working. Your work mindset influences how you approach your tasks and interact with those around you. Those who approach work with a positive mindset are more likely to succeed because it changes the way they work. Why is a positive attitude in the workplace important? Having the right mindset in the workplace is critical not only for your personal success, but also for the success of your team and the larger company. Workplace mindsets vary depending on the nature and culture of the company. When applying for jobs, consider whether the employer's required mindset is one that is appropriate for you as an individual. There are numerous reasons why maintaining the right mindset at work is beneficial. Here are a few of the reasons. Increased job satisfaction. Having the right mindset improves your job satisfaction. 
This is because you can approach your work with the right mindset, resulting in better overall task completion, efficiency, and enjoyment of your workday. This improves your job performance and boosts your confidence, higher levels of productivity. Approaching your work with the right mindset ensures that you complete each task with maximum efficiency. This means that you're increasing your productivity throughout the day and making the best use of your time. If you work in a client-facing role, you will receive more positive feedback from your superiors, colleagues, and clients. Increased team cohesiveness. If you have the right mindset at work, it encourages others to do the same. As a result, the team works toward a common goal and has the same attitude toward their responsibilities, resulting in a cohesive team. This also improves teamwork and fosters a more positive environment. What impact does your mindset have on the rest of the workplace? Having a particular mindset extends beyond yourself as an individual. Your mindset also has an impact on the rest of the workplace, including those with whom you work in the office and any clients you interact with. A positive mindset enables you to easily form and maintain stronger connections, allowing you to build an excellent reputation for your character and work ethic. Can you change someone's mindset in the workplace? With the right commitment time, you can change any mindset. This also applies to work-specific mindsets. While changing your mindset at work requires time and conscious effort, the results are worthwhile. It could mean the difference between feeling satisfied at work and getting the promotion you want. If you want to change your workplace mindset, here are some easy steps. One, identify the causes. A negative mindset at work is most likely caused by a negative experience. This could include unfair treatment or dismissal at work. Identifying the root cause of a negative mindset allows you to take action and make the necessary changes. Two, decide on changes. Once you've identified the aspects of your current mindset that need to be changed, you can begin to plan out the changes you'll make. These changes are not necessarily radical. They can be small daily adjustments that gradually improve your approach to work. Creating a plan can help you decide what changes to make and when. Three, develop new processes. Following your decision to make the necessary changes, your next step will be to establish new processes. Take this step gradually, focusing on developing one new process at a time. This increases the likelihood that the new processes will stick and form long-term habits. Four, maintain the changes. Once you've established new processes, the most important step is to maintain them. The longer you stick with these changes, the better they will integrate into your work habits, resulting in a new mindset. That's all for today's video. You can also think of and implement new changes as they arise. For example, suppose you move to a new company. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.